Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel once again for day number 21 of the Lamy Vlogs. So we've just had a triplet born, which is rather exciting as they are soon disappearing. But as we all know, it's been a quiet couple of days. Don't worry, we're not stopping the vlog yet as we've got plenty more to come. We have all the ewe lambs to lamb. We have 29 more ewes to go at, including the border esters. So don't worry guys, we're gonna carry with the vlogs, even though I did say three weeks because we can't be just cutting off the end of lambing, can we? So once again, I hope you enjoy. If you do, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, and most of all, Thank you once again for tuning in. <laughs> First job of the day, we need to get these triplets taken out and sorted. It's looking a bit more sparse in here, isn't it? We're going down slowly, and slowly they're disappearing. She has had all three of these, no confusions that I do know of hers, but obviously this twin is lambing at the same time, so let's get these penned up so she doesn't try and steal them. We do not want that. I need to get some more used lambs out to field. Obviously, I'm all on my lonesome now because it's quite quiet, but we're still enjoying it. We are still enjoying it. Triplet all penned up, all iodine, all milk. <laughs> One, two. Skip a few. You're losing them. Oh, yeah. So while we're doing the tailing, it is a very interesting topic. I was watching a video earlier from Kaz from Farm Vet Films. I'll put the link in the description. But he was on about how it is linked to prolapses if you do the tail too short. So I'll just show you here, guys, the way we do it. If I grab one of these lambs again. But can you see there's just skin under the tail? If you are to wring them below that skin or don't give them free fingers, it can be a bigger cause for prolapses in use. So after watching that, I've actually thought, I'll look at what length I do. So I do it probably four fingers or slightly longer, but I think that's all right. They're being castrated, it does the job, but if you do it too short, it can be a big cause of prolapse because they say the muscle in the tail is one of the biggest factors to hold and everything in at lambing time. So just thought I'd talk to you about that. And yeah, check Kaz's channel out. Really, really interesting stuff. All lambed and successfully two live lambs out, which is one of the most important things. I do always forget to say that. If you can get live lambs out, mum's all okay. Don't really matter what the lambs look like. The thing is, you've got them out. Well, this will be a tester, as I've not numbered any of my own this year. Oh, that'll do. Well, I had to come to push all the ewes through and then we were going to drop everything off, but as you can probably tell, it's now pouring down the rain. It looks like those ewes and lambs aren't going to come out today, but it's not the end of the world. They're pushed through, ready. This has been fertilised, so it should get growing even more. Oh, I'm soaked. So, usual checks around all the ewes, just to make sure everything is okay and there is no repeats of number 52s from yesterday. Alright, two, two, four, strutting your stuff.
one big problem in this kind of weather it's warm then cold and we've had a little bit of rain is you can have a touch of pneumonia which fingers crossed nothing gets but it's what comes with this type of kind of weather unfortunately i say it's raining and then the sun comes out and the sky goes blue but saying that where the weather comes from i don't know how well you can see it's dark over in the distance it's blue and then going dark again so i don't think i'm going to risk putting these lambs out i don't mind if they get a little bit wet but i don't want to put them out and get drenched the moment i talk about pneumonia guess what's happened you guessed it. So here we have a lamb with pneumonia. The giveaway signs are breathing fast, saliva around the mouth, and being lethargic. So a quick dose of antibiotic and a pain relief will hopefully solve the problem. It has continued to rain on and off all day. So plan is now, we ain't taking any sheep out, but we're gonna be efficient and we're actually gonna do some fencing, which isn't really lambing based, but We've got to move the other ewe lambs as they're short of grass, so we'll take you with us fencing. And Josie is... Jose, where did you go? Jose, up. Good girl. Well, that was a little bit of a disaster, wasn't it? My GoPro ran out of battery. It was pitch black by the time we got the ewes actually through that gateway. That took a lot of patience. But we're now back, just making sure there's no problems in the lamb. Sure we have been looking at the camera, so it should be okay. But always best to have a check to make sure no disasters. No, nothing slamming. How are all the lambs in here? Oh, oh, good. Ah, man. Woo. Good job done there, Miss Lambs. Man, I thought it wouldn't take some as it did, but it's one of them. Mountaineering lamb. Are you on the escape, right? The GoPro is fully charged once again. Swan forgot to turn the battery charger on, but final update of the evening. There's nothing else looks like it's gonna pop today. So that triplet is literally if it's lambs. Um, we have officially one cycle through. So now anything that lambs tomorrow <laughs> has come over to the second cycle. So all of these ladies didn't hold or didn't actually physically cycle within the first 17 days. Conception rate was about 85% took on the first cycle. So that's, I don't know if that's good or bad. I'll actually have to look, have a look because I'm not one that's actually looked into that too much before. But I've got to say it's probably the most we've ever had not taken on the first cycle, but obviously we're lambing a lot more sheep, so it's one of them. Unfortunately, obviously, we didn't get to get any sheep out today. We just kept having showers. Few lambs moved. It took a lot of patience, but they got moved. They're on fresh grass, so I haven't got to worry about them for the next couple of weeks. Look at some of these lambs come on really well. Do you remember the huge single that got adopted yesterday? So that's her actual lamb, the other black. The Clint that was a Cade. Just look at them, if they were an actual pair, they'd be probably the biggest day old twins in the world. Uh, anything else, anything else? Obviously we got the ones in the adopters. We took 68, sorry, we took 94 off 68. I can't remember if I told you earlier. This ewe is back in the adopter because she didn't like her own lamb. 
she only liked the adopted one and the ewe lambs are soon to choose start lambing so they are due to start Thursday as well as the border lesters although look at the border lesters they're not that bagged up but there are four or five bagged up ewe lambs especially the triplet ewe lamb that is probably the closest one to lambing not really looking forward to that because if you know sheep you don't want a ewe lamb with a triplet you don't really want a ewe lamb with twins you want a ewe lamb with one lamb just yeah Right guys, so I'm going to leave you at that, say a massive thank you for watching, fingers crossed with that lamb with pneumonia outside because hopefully that should pull through. Going forward from now on, we might not do a vlog every single day, we might put some together, it depends how busy we are. If nothing lambs, there's no point in putting a vlog out, I'll just put two days together to make it a little bit more exciting. But we will keep going until the very end guys, I'll show you everything, the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows, everything that goes on here at Cowley Hill at Lambing Time. So massive thank you for watching guys, really appreciate it. If you enjoy it, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the merch store, all the new goodies are there to look at now, and I'll see you, I'll see you next time.